Tools of Analysis, presented by Dr. Art Langer. Hi, I'm Dr. Art Langer, and uh, I'd like to talk to you today about the tools of analysis, what professional analysts should be using, and how they should be approaching their jobs. Before we get into actual tools that analysts can use, there's something that I'd like to discuss called the concept of the logical equivalent. The concept of a logical equivalent is something that I created which addresses what I believe is the essence of what we are trying to accomplish by building a piece of software. Let me be more specific. When you go out and interview users or look at existing systems that you're going to change, ultimately we're going to be looking at an end user community which even today could be consumers. The question that you must ask yourself is what world is a user in? And I would suggest to you that they are in a world called the physical world. Now, what is so important about that is that the physical world is one that does not necessarily do things the way we do inside of a computer, which means sequence is different, politics affects things that are going on, whether organizations are put together as efficiently as they should may or may not be the case. In fact, what we're trying to accomplish by automating a system is to look at making the physical world more efficient. And the way we make the physical world more efficient is by automating it or making it more logical. So we know that systems or software is logical. So let me make the first correlation today, and that is if you were to define the art of creating a piece of software or the requirements of a piece of software, and the job of an analyst is to really take the physical world and transform it to the logical world. Or, as I have always put it, to look at the physical world and come up with the logical equivalent to that world. And the challenge is how do we do that? And along with the tools that I talk to you today, that I introduce to you today, that we will have an understanding that it is not subjective, but very much a mathematical approach to getting the transformation that we need to occur. The challenges of the physical world are many. We know that we have politics and we have users in different levels, but going ahead on the assumption that we have established that particular environment first, the real issue for this discussion is how do we take the information that we're getting and transform it into a logical equivalent, particularly when the physical world does not map one to one. And by the way, we hope it does not because it is this change in the mapping to the logical equivalent that gives us the tremendous efficiencies that we want to gain. However, one of the things that you must remember is do not use the logical equivalent to do a reorganization of the user community. That's not your job. And while it will point to some inefficiencies in the physical world, it is very dangerous for analysts to take on that particular responsibility.